Well, state police tell me on Tuesday night there was some type of an altercation here at Rodius Park with the group of teens later crashing the Pathfinder along I-70 near Harding Street. Right now, investigators are trying to piece together what happened in between. Her, her laughter and her, her happiness was kind of contagious. Cassie Ferguson only has fond memories of her cousin, 17-year-old Taylor Parsons, who police say was behind the wheel of a Pathfinder when it crashed on I-70 on Tuesday night, killing Taylor and 18-year-old Brandon Gross. They chased her, and they were all very scared, I assume, and, and uh, that's when the accident happened. While Cassie was not involved in the crash, she believes Taylor and her friends were trying to escape after an incident with another group at Rodius Park. She was trying to get away from them because they were trying to ram her car and run her off the road. Those are some of the dots we're trying to connect because we don't know the answers, and so that's the purpose of our investigation is to try to determine exactly what happened from the time those teenagers left the park uh, to the time the tragic crash happened on I-70. Witnesses told state police the driver of the second vehicle, who was also at the park, appeared to be chasing the victims. However, state police are trying to determine exactly what happened on I-70. Authorities say the victims were driving fast, apparently swerved to exit at Harding Street and crashed while not wearing seat belts. At this point in the investigation, we do not know of anything criminal at this point. However, there are so many questions left to answer. Cassie tells me she and Taylor talked every day, and Taylor was driving Cassie's Pathfinder on Tuesday. It definitely goes to show you that the importance, I think, even if yeah, they weren't wearing them because they got in the car and they were running from people. But, it, it you know, had they had their seatbelts on, I think this would have turned out a lot differently. Now, state police tell me the other driver is fully cooperating with the investigation. Regardless of the outcome, you have two teens killed. Friends tell me Brandon Gross wanted to join the Marines. Family members tell me Taylor Parsons was likely headed to Ball State to study psychology or social work. Mike Pelton, RTV6.